example at the Counseling for Open and Distance Learning, ODL. In the previous video, we have talked about organizing theory counseling sessions and practical counseling sessions. And in this video, we shall continue to discuss about organizing counseling sessions. Apart from just organizing your theory and practical counseling sessions, academic counselors have to manage other aspects. What are they? These are basically absenteeism of uh, learners, evaluation, supervision, feedback, and sometimes absenteeism of academic counselors themselves. So first of all, we will discuss about absenteeism in counseling sessions. It is observed that study center coordinators face the problem of learner assembly, as it is not a mandatory aspect for post completion. The problem does not end here with student assembly. It spreads further to irregular attendance by academic counselors too. The reason for their absenteeism may be many, but it persists. One common difficulty is of timely availability of the counseling schedule to the academic counselors. The academic counselors shall be informed about the schedule of the counseling session to avoid the absenteeism in well in advance. Also, the academic counselors shall be motivated to make the counseling sessions interactive to encourage the learners for becoming regular to the session. Motivated academic counselors can spread the motivation further by properly guiding and empathizing with the learners. Social media groups can also be created to facilitate the learning and keeping the learners connected and motivated for attending the counseling session. So, to overcome the problem of absenteeism, this shall closely be monitored by the coordinators of the study centers also by having a meticulous record keeping mechanism in place. In case of continuous absenteeism in counseling sessions, counselor shall inform the coordinator about it and should also set a list of students to the center for reminding them about the counseling sessions through different media, maybe through SMS or through individual phone calls. In extreme cases of absenteeism or less registration in course, the coordinator should organize intensive counseling. The record keeping shall be done in the institution specific formats for the records. The next task is continuous evaluation through assignments. Assignments are critical to ODL system. This means they provide an opportunity for interaction between the counselor and the learner. Learners submit their assignment responses to the academic counselor. Once submitted, academic counselors have a significant role of writing quality feedback on these assignments. The feedback and user comments on assignment has great impact on the learning process of the learners. The feedback or comment should be personalized, timely, and regular. However, assigning just marks or grades is not a good feedback. Good feedback must have verbal comments. These well written comments motivate the learners. Why these comments are needed? Why are these important? These comments are needed for sustaining the motivation of the learners, to create the two-way communication through feedback and remedial guidance between the learner and the counselor. They also help in clarifying ambiguities and provide guidance in difficult times and difficult areas provide personal guidance and tips related to study skills, study habits, and other uh, content-related problems. On the part of academic counselors, it is needed that they maintain the regularity and timeliness in assignment evaluation as some 
lies in the major challenge faced by academic counselors. Why? Because of scarcity of time with them. But it is very important to give timely feedback on the assignments. The next point which we are discussing is supervision and evaluation of projects, practicum and internship. As we talked in the previous video also about the practical counseling sessions, academic counselors are also supposed to be a part of projects, practicum and internship in programs, which has these components. They shall keep themselves equipped with the course project manuals or handbooks to guide the learners. For projects, the learner have to select a problem in their area of study, submit a synopsis on the same, and academic counsellors shall guide the learner to opt for a general area of study and all through the process. After the synopsis is prepared, academic counsellors shall submit it to the institution in the required format. Only after the approval of the synopsis, the project shall be taken up by the learners and completed project report shall also be submitted to the department mentioned by the institution in the proper format also. Project evaluation and minor works, if it is required in the particular course, shall be done annually. The academic counselor shall guide the learners about the internship programs, their annual report submission in the proper format at the end as per the deadline of the institution. The next is feedback on academic counseling sessions. Feedback is always an important component in any kind of activity. It helps the authorities in improving the particular activity or system as a whole. In case of academic counseling in open distance learning system, the feedback of the academic counselors on the organization and conduct of counseling sessions is significant. Very important. It may help to improve existing practices and method for ensuring effective learner support. Feedback on counseling session can be obtained from two sides. One from learners who are attending the counseling session, and the second from academic counselors who are taking or facilitating the counseling session. The feedback form generated online or printed can be circulated amongst the learners by the academic counselors during the counseling session. The feedback form generated online or printed can be circulated amongst the learners by the academic counselors during the counseling session. The filled in feedback can be either collected prior to the semester or course examination, or any suitable date can be decided by the academic counselor for online form submission. The formats for feedback can be taken from the institution or an exhaustive and well-researched form can be developed by the center coordinators also. The coordinators can collect the feedback forms from the counselor and learners and share it with the institution for further necessary action. This is it regarding the organizing the counseling session. Now we will summarize what we have done in this video and the previous videos. That is, academic counselor act as a facilitator in the counseling session. He or she is responsible for bridging the gap between the ODL institution and the learners. The major roles and responsibilities of academic counselor are conducting the counseling sessions, both theory and practical. Training the distance learner in distance study methods, maintaining records of learners adopted, tracking the overall academic progress of the learners assigned in the respective course, evaluation of the assignment, practicum, project, internship as prescribed in the particular course, supervising the learners during the project, practicum, and field work. Guiding the learners about internship and its successful completion, giving feedback to the learners during the counseling sessions and on the assignments through the written comments 
and coordinating with the coordinator and giving feedback on counseling sessions and assignment evaluation. That is it for this series of video. Thank you very much.